In the book, A Single Shard, uh, the character of Tree Ear uh, does some hand building with clay where he makes, he sculpts animals in clay. I don't do much sculpting in my work, but I do have one design here that I do that involves some hand building, and I'm going to show you basically how I do it. Um, what I do is I assemble these parts ahead of time so they're the right consistency, but these are the wheels for the bowls, and I have like this stamp here has a texture on it, and that's how I make a wheel, basically like that. So, uh, so basically it's kind of like working in an auto factory. I've got the wheels made, I've got the spikes made, and i got the bowls. These were trimmed on the wheel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go in and make, just put one together here for you, real quick. And again, it's just like doing the mug handles. I scratch the, this part on here, scratch this part on here, and um, that's where the wheels are going to go. And then I pick out four wheels that are about the same size. And see, they're all a little, they vary a little bit, but I can get them all pretty similar if I just pick them. Then I, I put, whoops, I put one uh, sort of less where it's going hit, to hit, the, hit the, uh, the pot. Again, going back and doing uh, slipping and scoring, this will make it attach better. And it's real important that on these that everything is the right uh, soft softness. Like these wheels are, uh, are uh, I rolled them out about a half an hour ago, and they're starting to firm up, but they're just about right for attaching. If they're too soft, the wheels will slump, and if they're too stiff, they won't stick very well. Okay, so I got all four of those, and this is really, really simple. It's going to be kind of like a car. Well, I'll put them on like that. Oops. That. That. Like that. And you can see those are kind of like hubcaps. I'm going to sign my name again. And then, this is the fun part, I attach the, um, you can see I just go through with a toothbrush. There's going to be a little spike here on every little part. Every little, where there's a little bump, I'm going to attach a spike. And so I'm scratching and scoring scratching and scoring all around here. These are my most labor intensive, uh, you know, the thing that I, these take a lot of time to make, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and, but they're really neat looking. They, 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 they're like little bits of sculpture. And we sell a lot of them too. We make, gosh, we make hundreds of these every year. Um, and it's, you know, the, the, I don't make as much money on these as I do on some of my other items, but they're really fancy looking, and um, I like them. They're going to be just for um, serving, serving bowls at a party, basically, is what people will do with these. And that's it. What I really like about pottery is that it reflects uh, the culture of its time. Potters produce what people want. And uh, since I'm making a living at this, I produce three things. Mugs, plates, and bowls. I've done vases, I've done teapots, but the market that works best for me are the simple items that people use every day. Uh, so about half of what I do are coffee mugs, and most of those mugs are this one simple shape that I'm about to do. Uh, it's just a very simple cylinder, and I'll just uh, take you through it right now. So the same thing, I weighed out all the clay, and I usually do like 20 mugs at a time. And it's a real simple form. When I started making pottery for a living, uh, it would be great if I could make like 20 pots in a day. That was like a good day. Uh, now, like this mug form, I can make 20 of these mugs in about a half an hour. Because like I said, it's, it's one of the most basic uh, shapes in pottery. It's the simple cylinder. So I'm just squeezing the clay up through my fingers.
smoothing it out. And this sponge on a stick is to get the water out of the inside. If you leave water on the inside, it can make it crack. And then this tool is a metal tool that I made myself that uh, gives it a, a simple little uh, little sort of a, a shape on the bottom, which is kind of nice. And then smooth it again, a little tiny lip there. And then the last thing I do is, this is just a piece of plastic, then what this does is it compresses and smooths it because that's where you drink out of it, so it's got to be perfectly smooth and kind of round. Cut it with a wire, and then I usually go back and make sure that, because sometimes that wire will make it kind of warped, so you make sure it's perfectly round. And that's how you make your coffee mug. Hi, I'm Tom Edwards, and this is a resource tape video, whatever, practice of the resource tape video, for Bethune Elementary, Miss uh, Edwards, seventh grade English class. And we're doing the, the book, A Simple Shard, A Single Shard, A Single Shard. Better get that right on the final <laughs> take. So here's the ice cream bowl that we threw. And that we threw. Cut. Okay, here's how uh, I... Bleh. And how do I look? Do I look good? This is Wait, it. Wait, sorry. Full start. Don't make me crazy. Don't make me crazy. Let me show you a big difference between the uh, 12th century and the 21st century. The, the, uh, oh, oh. I got these little babies from an Air Force buddy of mine. Next time the flying saucers come, I'll be ready. Uh, once a day, uh, our UPS driver comes up and, and picks up our, our deliveries and cut. I said deliveries. Once a day, the UPS truck comes by and uh, picks up our, our, or, or, or Welcome to part two of the video that, uh... <laughs> oh, is it, is it rolling? Yeah. Okay, Ralph, what's the best part about being a UPS guy? Just enjoying this beautiful outdoors. There you have it.